The radial filter is a really exciting new feature. It enables you to apply adjustments in a circular fashion to any portion of the photograph. You can feather it or you can have it sharp. Think of it like a vignette on steroids because it can do more than a vignette. You can apply any type of adjustment to either the inside or the outside. You can put it non-centered, you can make it large, you can make it small. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. It's a really great creative tool. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look and see what we can do. To find our radio filter, make sure that we are under here under the develop module. And then under the develop module, we'll see our radio filter right there in between our gradient and our adjustment brush. So this is a great tool. What it basically does is as we apply this filter here, it's going to take the adjustments on the image. Let me drop it down. You can see we've got an adjusted image right now. And it's going to constrain those adjustments to this area. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to drag out a little bit of an oval. And you'll see here's our adjusted image inside. And on the outside is the unadjusted image which are the settings here, which we can change at any time. So what we're going to do is look at some different things. The first thing we're going to do is the feather. If we take this all the way to the left, we're going to have a very, very hard edge. If we take it all the way to the right, obviously, it's going to create a very soft, blended edge. So let's start somewhere in the middle. And then what we're going to do, just to make it easier to see what's going on, is I'm going to grab some settings here. I'm going to drop the exposure down a little bit. And notice that we're able to create an off-center vignette effect. So I'm going to grab this, and we can move it at any time just by simply dragging on that point. We can change the shape and size of it just by dragging down here. And then we can also rotate by going around the edges there, and you'll see that we can rotate this when, we, when you see those little arrows. So we can take some different types of effects like this. Now, there's other things we can do. We can invert this if we want by clicking the Invert Mask button. Or the other option is if we just hit the apostrophe key. And now we get an inversion of that. I mean, it doesn't really look very good there, but if we were to do some other type of effect, maybe increase that. You can see we can get some different effects there. Maybe put a different color temperature in the middle, warm it up a little bit. And you can see the types of different effects we can get by playing around with these different options. So this is kind of a fun tool. Let me show you some other options we can do with it. If, for example, we want to maximize this and fill it up to the uh, maximum area, I can hit the Control key or Command on Mac and double click. And that will maximize the area probably want to invert this right now because this is more something what you'd want to do for maybe more of a vignette effect so we can create a more traditional vignette there the other thing we're going to do is I'm just going to select it we we hover over until it appears click on the dot hit the delete key and it's gone so now if we're going to create a new one what we're going to do is hold the control key or command key double click and once again this will create one that fits nicely within the bounds of the image there. And so we can do different things with the color temperature maybe. Let's warm it up. And you can see that we've just got so many really useful options here using this tool. I, I think that you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I've had a lot of fun playing around with it. So uh, experiment with it and have a lot of fun.